If I man you in a shift this thing. Man shoot. Alright guys, today we are going for an extended ride in Iron Man. Today we finna put some miles on this thing, we finna put some miles on this transmission. We finna really put this thing to the test today. Um, we gonna, we gonna lay into it a little bit today. Really test this thing out. Continue to check the fluid, just making sure everything is right, make sure nothing is leaking. Um, previously I didn't have anything leaking, but we finna see what we got today. We finna really drive this thing today. We finna put some miles on it. But before we do that, I gotta get this thing cleaned up. It sat in the yard for months and months and months, and it is super, super dirty. I know it may not look like it because it's black, and this is just black primer, so it ain't got no shine to it, but this thing is ridiculously dirty. So first thing I need y'all to do is hold tight. Let me get this thing cleaned up. We're gonna lock in, and we're gonna go grab a few. We're gonna grab some, grab about $225 worth of gas, and we're gonna ride. So y'all stay tuned. God is everything. Without God, I'm nothing. cleaned up now we get the official start up i ain't got much gas but i got to let this thing warm up because it got a carburetor on y'all know how the carburetors is when they ain't warmed up you gotta let them warm up so gonna warm this thing up and then we gonna hit the road y'all stay tuned wait for the start up the yard yet but i gotta go pop the hood i smell cooling or something so y'all hold tight let me check on my problem real quick before we hit this road because i do not want to get out here and start running hot so y'all hold tight let me check on this head it back out again uh didn't actually see anything leaking um i think my heater core may be leaking a little bit but i don't think it's nothing to worry about at the moment um, and if you've seen a video previously where I did a uh, vacuum canister on this truck, I ended up taking it back a loose, guys, because my cam just isn't big enough and my brakes was entirely too hard to press. So I just left it hooked up. I, I didn't, oh, not hooked up, but I left it um, in the truck, but I unhooked it because I just don't have that much vacuum being drawn and my brakes was crazy hard to press. So I unhooked it and the brakes feel much better without it but at some point i know this truck gonna have a big block and a big cam in it so that canister will get you so anyway guys fingers crossed we make it to this store because uh we are really really low on gas um and this truck has a big stall in it guys so if you listen closely you're gonna hear it go ah! so and i gotta change the gears I gotta change the gears and everything in this truck, man. But it's your time transmission. This thing shifts so good, man. It's crazy. All right, guys. Pulling up to the gas station right now. And let's throw some of this 93 in here. This stuff is 419, guys. Y'all know this truck had to have 93 or else I'll be putting 87 in it. But all right, guys. Let me put this gas in now. And we finna pull some cones. Ready to ride. Checked everything. No leaks from the transmission. Everything is good, man. Thirty dollars. We're gonna ride. All right, guys. I gotta have the one down because I don't have any AC in here. I hope it don't get too windy, but. Gas I got for $30. It's saying it's almost 
smooth, but my my hand don't read the best. Cause I couldn't get a burnout then. I ain't wanna. I ain't wanna. 
stop in the same spot. So we're gonna go find a different spot and then we're gonna make another shakedown uh, for y'all, man. I hope y'all heard those shifts, man, because that was, that was pretty good. If I was manually shifting, bro. Wait on this traffic to come by. I can hit my little trans cooler fan on. But we're gonna start off with a burnout. Let's try this again, guys. because that dragon test is coming and I can promise y'all this thing is way faster I think the 0 to 60 time before was like an 8 point something and it was cold so that was probably a better time that I could get now with the old transmission and the old stall but I can almost assume we probably gonna run about a 6 second 0 to 60 now I might be reaching maybe I'm reaching a little bit but we might can get it done. If not, we're going to be very close to a six. And my t I'm trying to get down to like a four second zero to 60. Man, if I can get that with this 350, y'all can all imagine what that, three, what that 383 going to do. But a few more bonus things I got for y'all. We got a lot of content coming with this truck. Um, one of them being, everybody always talking about flipping the uh, intake over. When you got a car ready, you got the intake, they say, oh, flip the lid over, a couple more horses. We're going to test that theory. Stay tuned for that. One more thing we're going to do. Once that 350 is done, we're going to spray nitrous to this thing. I know. I know. I know, guys. I know. The stall ain't ready for it. The transmission ain't built for it. We ain't going to leave on it. we just going to roll out and we just going to hit it a little bit. So y'all stay tuned. We got some big things coming. Go check out my process of getting this transmission back in this truck and my first drive. I'm going to link them right here for you guys.